Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the women of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, gentlemen, today's video is about Big Bang Theory and how some of us men just simply have a difficult time in communicating with women. This is specifically about season one, episode one, or the pilot of Big Bang Theory that was released back in 2007. Now, <clears throat> in this particular episode, <laughs> it's so funny, I'm almost embarrassed to say this. Sheldon and Leonard start out at a sperm bank where they're trying to sell their sperm as high IQ sperm, thinking they're gonna get more money for it. Anyway, they abandon the idea after they arrive at the office and they, start, they return home with a big bag of Indian food for lunch. When they arrive back at their apartment building and walk up the stairs, they realize they have a new neighbor. Yes, Penny has moved into the building. Well, after some very uncomfortable talking, especially between Leonard and Penny, and between, of course, Sheldon and Penny, Leonard eventually invites Penny over for lunch. And in doing so, he has a really difficult time even asking that question, would you like to come have lunch with us? Instead, he talks about how, oh, how stressful moving can be. And that having food and the comfort of friends and, and conversation, that it can help relieve some of that stress, along with the fact that Indian food has curry in it, and it can also clear out your bowels. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Penny's standing there totally confused until Sheldon chimes in and says, Leonard, you shouldn't be talking about people's vowels when you're trying to get them to come over and have lunch with you. And Penny goes, oh, really? Are you inviting me over for lunch? And Leonard finally says, yes. So she comes straight over to the house or to the apartment rather. And they sit down and they start eating and they get in this conversation. And finally, Leonard has a great question. As uncomfortable and unconfident he, as he is, he finally asked Penny, tell us a little bit about yourself. So Penny talks about how she moved there from Nebraska in hopes of getting a, a job in the film industry as an actress. And then she found a job at the T Cheesecake Factory and that she's writing a screenplay. And Leonard says, oh, you, that's a great life. I love that. And she says, oh, it was great. And she starts crying until I fell in love with a jerk. And she's now crying. Of course, Leonard and Sheldon are sitting there going, what's happening? <laughs> so Penny gets up and grabs, a, grabs a, a handkerchief or a napkin or something and starts wiping her eyes and telling, oh, he's such a, she goes, this is so crazy. And they're like, why? Is and, and Sheldon instantly says, yes, you're crazy. She says, oh, he's a lying, cheating bastard and I hate his guts. Yet it's so crazy because I'm still in love with him. And of course, Sheldon's going, that is crazy. And Leonard says, no, 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 that's not crazy at all. And so Leonard gets up to try to comfort her. Now, guys, maybe a light, gentle hug and say, you're going to be okay. Everything's great. The world's going to be fine. And who cares about your boyfriend? Or just give her some empathy, right? Just some empathy. It doesn't have to be as hard as Leonard Hofstetter makes it. <laughs> Leonard walks over and says, well, it's kind of like a paradox. And she says, well, how so? And he talks about how one scientist had discovered light that travels in light waves. Well, very good. But then Einstein discovered that light also acts like particles. And Penny's standing there as confused as can be. Anyway, she finally mentions that her shower doesn't work. And of course, Leonard says, well, ours works. Go ahead, take a shower, use our shower. So she jumps into the shower. Well, while she's in the bathroom preparing the shower, Guess who shows up? Raj and Howard. Here it is, Howard the creep, Raj the guy who can't talk to anybody, or any women, I should say. And so <clears throat> Leonard is trying to get them out of the apartment, said it's just not a good time. And of course, when Sheldon says to the guys, hey, Leonard's got a girl over and she's taking a shower, and of course, that perks up, that perks up uh, Howard's ears, and he says, oh, there's a woman in the, ha woman in the apartment? Of course, then she comes out with a towel wrapped around her. And guess what? Yes, Howard is all over it. He starts speaking French to her. He tries to impress her. Oh, you must have heard about me. I've got some materials up on the space station or circling Jupiter, something like this. And it's just hysterical. He's trying to say, hey, look at me. Look at me beat my chest. I'm over here. I'm over here. 
And, you know, in some species of animals, yes, the men or the male species will do a dance for the female. Well, in this case, he's trying to dance and impress her, and it doesn't impress her at all. Makes her realize what a creep she is. So <clears throat> Leonard finally goes into the bathroom and helps her get the shower started. And while doing so, she asks Leonard for a favor, to go to her ex-boyfriend's house and retrieve a TV for her. So while they're doing that, Penny gets out of the shower, changes her clothes. She's back in the apartment. She's talking to none other than Howard Wallowitz, who again now is sitting at the front of the computer showing her this game, this video game that he's doing really great at. He's at level 10 and he's going into a bar to go have a beer after a big conquest. Finally, <clears throat> Howard says to Penny, you know, Penny, you should create your own character in here and we could go on a quest together. And oh my gosh, you can see the look on Penny's face. She is totally disgusted with him and says, oh yeah, I'll do that. That would be a great idea. She doesn't know what to say. She doesn't know how to respond. Guys, this is an ideal situation where we've got, again, Sheldon, who has no filters between his voice and his brain, and it says basically anything. We have Leonard, who is infatuated with Penny, doesn't know how to approach her, but at least has the courage to at least drum up some sort of conversation. And then we have Howard Wallowitz, who is just such a creep. He doesn't know what to say, and he thinks impressing women with his suave and debonair is going to impress him and get him laid. And then while Raj is in the apartment the entire time, he cannot even look at Penny because he's so nervous and anxious around pretty ladies. Well, the show goes on where <clears throat> Howard and um, Howard and Rajesh are in the apartment, and Raj thinks that that Howard did a great job in smoothing over and winning over Penny by showing him how great he was with this with this gaming program. Meanwhile, Leonard and Sheldon return from the boyfriend's apartment without pants. He apparently pants them because he's embarrassing them. They show up, Penny feels so bad, and she tells him, guys, I'll go grab my purse, I'll take you all out to dinner. They say, okay, terrific. Well, now they're in the car, Penny in the back seat between Raj and Howard, and <clears throat> Howard saying, well, let's go to this cool little sushi place I know of around the corner. It also has karaoke. And Penny says, oh, that sounds like fun. And finally, the last part is Howard in the back seat singing, baby, baby, don't get hooked on me, thinking this is going to turn Penny on. <sighs> oh my gosh, what a great show. Guys, if you really want to learn how to approach women, watch in ways in which you, you shouldn't approach women. And The Big Bang Theory is an ideal show where you can watch these guys fail and fail and fail and fail over and over again until they eventually succeed. It's a great show, guys. I love it. And it's an ideal opportunity to see if you have any of those traits that makes you nervous or anxious or perhaps unknowing what to say to a woman. Again, guys, subscribe to my channel because there's going to be some great videos on there that can get you closer and closer to attracting the woman of your dreams. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.